Today in our brain game, three picks, we're going to look at three pictures of our new baby panda cub, just born mm. at the Taipei Zoo on Sunday. Mm. So this is such great news for Taiwan. I mean, we loved Yuanzai when she was born. She's already seven years old now. I can't believe that. She has a little sister now just born, and we're going to take a look at three pictures. You guys guess what's happening in the picture. Actually, it's not too hard today. Okay. Just an excuse to look at cute baby <laughs> pictures. I love take it. it. All I right, take let's it. take a look at the first picture. Oh. Is so, that, wait, the little pink thing, that's that's her. That's the baby, <gasps> oh. and that is the mom, Yuan Yuan. You notice the size difference, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's <laughs> only 186 grams, one one-thousandth the wow. size of her mom. <sighs> so actually, giant pandas have the smallest babies of all placental mammals. Wow. So that is her hugging the baby right after she was born. That's oh. hard to do. That is really yeah, hard to get Yeah, she big actually, you know, uh, scraped her a little bit, cut oh, her a no. tiny bit, but she's fine now. She's oh, healed. No. So she's doing oh, okay. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at the next picture. Oh, that's oh, cute. Oh, look at that. Is she drinking OJ? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like my protein shake, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't want so, this protein shake. <laughs> she is drinking breast milk, right? And they expressed it from her. So. She's actually not living with her mom right now because her mom can be a little bit rough, you know? And mm. uh, so they're expressing the milk and she, that was the first time she drank. Um, she's drinking four times a day. A lot less than human babies. Four times a day, That's wow, it. that is a That's not much. very small amount. And only like 18 milliliters. Oh, wow. But it's really small, so it's just gonna grow slowly. Mm -hmm. So that's the cute baby picture there. And Love one it. more baby picture. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> she looks like a little so sausage. So guess where she is. Guess where the baby is in this picture. Is that a tiny igloo? <laughs> she's, why don't you take a guess, Leslie? She's probably in the zoo, right? She's at the zoo yeah. and she's in an incubator. Yeah, oh. she's actually in an incubator. Oh. So she's going to be there for about a month. And your insight had the same process. And then she went to live with her mom. Okay, so... So about around a month's time, she's going to live with her mom. And um, in the meanwhile, uh, I think the zoo is going to ask us to pick a name for her, the public. And they're hoping that she can be ready to face the public by Christmas. Mm. So are you guys excited about that? I am. I can't wait to see what the name is. Do you have any ideas, Leslie? I have no idea. They have you, you inside, you right? The other one's some twine. suggestions. It's got to be a food thing, some round food, like maybe Wakwe <laughs> or <No>. Bawan. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good and one. we do have something else today. We have a video of the birth. Oh, wow. So let's take a look at that. A star was born on Sunday afternoon at the Taipei Zoo. After five hours of labor, panda mom Yuan Yuan gave birth to a female cub. Yuan Yuan picks her cub up with her mouth and holds her in her arms. The cub weighs just 186 grams. Unfortunately, Yuan Yuan slightly injures the baby during the embrace. She has a cut on her shoulder bone that veterinarians quickly treat. Yuan Yuan is exhausted from the birth, so the vet has taken some of her milk to feed the newborn cub. The vet wipes the cub's mouth and feeds her and tries to get her to make a bowel movement. The new panda cub is now in an incubator. Taipei Zoo spokesperson Eric Zhao says the cub just drank 18 milliliters of milk. She's able to nurse and is actively looking for food. He says the baby cub is safe and healthy, so everyone need not worry. Both of Yuan Yuan's pregnancies were through artificial insemination. They've tried every year, and this year she got lucky. Both times, Yuan Yuan also accidentally injured her baby, so they had to be separated from her during the first month. It's not easy being a mama bear. Here, Yuan Yuan is experiencing labor pain ahead of the birth. The panda cub will say hello to the public when she's about six months old, an event that's likely to draw a crowd. In the meantime, the zoo hopes the public can help give her a name.